This is one of the things that, you know, the archaeologists and the prehistorians, people are looking at that, have failed to take into account. Now within there, there could be all kinds of stuff that's not even recognized as being artificial in the sense that humans had anything to do with it. Tucked away in the heart of the Great Pyramid of Giza lies the King's Chamber, a marvel of ancient Egyptian architecture that continues to fascinate historians and visitors alike. If you look at the famous King's Chamber, its walls and its ceiling of the King's Chamber are all made with gigantic granite blocks. Imagine walking through the Grand Gallery, a corridor stretching 47 meters long and rising 8.6 meters high to reach this iconic chamber. This journey alone, through such an expansive space within the solid stone of the pyramid, showcases the incredible skill of ancient Egyptian builders. Now, Egyptologists will tell you that, oh, they could move heavy blocks because they put them on wet sand and they push them along on wet sand. Well, maybe if you're just at ground level, that will do. But when you're 350 feet above the ground, as you are in the King's Chamber, that won't do at all. The King's Chamber itself is a testament to the Egyptians' advanced understanding of materials and construction techniques. Carved from red granite brought all the way from Aswan, over 800 kilometers away, the chamber's very walls speak of a civilization capable of monumental feats of logistics and engineering. The room's dimensions, about 10.47 meters by 5.234 meters and 5.974 meters high, are thought to be imbued with symbolic meaning, perhaps aligning with celestial or pharaonic principles. If we're only looking for a mere reflection of ourselves, we could overlook it completely. I think we're getting very close to rediscovering some of the things that our ancient ancestors were up to. At the chamber center lies a red granite sarcophagus, believed to be the intended resting place of Pharaoh Khufu, though intriguingly, no human remains have ever been discovered within it. The sarcophagus bears marks of damage and wear, silent witnesses to the millennia that have passed since its creation. Its very presence in the chamber, given its size, suggests it was placed there during the construction of the room, hinting at the meticulous planning that went into the pyramid's design. Above the chamber, an ingenious system of five relieving chambers helps distribute the weight of the pyramid, protecting the space below. This feature highlights the ancient builder's sophisticated understanding of structural integrity. Additionally, the chamber is equipped with two narrow shafts extending to the pyramid's exterior, Initially thought to be for ventilation, these shafts are now believed to possibly serve a more symbolic purpose, possibly aligning with stars or celestial phenomena significant to Khufu's journey in the afterlife. Step into the heart of the Great Pyramid of Giza, and you'll find yourself in the Grand Gallery, an awe-inspiring testament to the ancient Egyptians' architectural genius. I don't know how they did it. All I know is they did it. I don't think anybody knows how they did it, how they lifted those stones, how they brought them up to that level. I think we're looking again at a lost technology. This corridor is not just a path to the king's chamber. It's a showcase of ancient ingenuity and a symbol of the civilization's advanced engineering capabilities. Imagine walking through this grand space with walls that narrow as you look upwards, thanks to the sophisticated corbelling technique used in its construction. This method, where each layer of stone slightly overhangs the one below, creates a dramatic narrowing effect towards the ceiling. It's a clear sign of the Egyptians' mastery in using architecture not only for structural stability, but also to inspire awe. The materials themselves, limestone blocks for the walls and heavier stones for the ceiling, were chosen with care, ensuring the gallery could bear the immense weight of the pyramid above. The Grand Gallery served a crucial role as the gateway to the King's Chamber, possibly designed to awe and inspire those who walked its length. But its purpose might have extended beyond mere access. Some scholars suggest it played a part in the pharaoh's funeral procession or other rituals connected to the afterlife journey. Features like the Great Step, a massive stone at the gallery's end, and various slots and holes along its walls hint at a space designed for more than simple passage, possibly aiding in the construction of the chamber. Moving on to another fascinating marvel of the pyramid, the Queen's Chamber. It holds mysteries that have puzzled scholars and enthusiasts for centuries. Despite its regal name, it's widely believed that this chamber was never intended as a final resting place for a queen. The lack of any burial artifacts and its distinctive features have sparked endless speculation about its true purpose. Positioned centrally within the pyramid, 
Yet at a lower elevation compared to the majestic king's chamber, the queen's chamber offers its own unique allure. Imagine venturing about 20 meters above the ground level through a corridor extending from the Grand Gallery to discover this intriguing space. Its dimensions create an unexpectedly spacious environment, with a pointed roof reaching up towards the pyramid's core, adding to the chamber's grandeur. One of the chamber's most striking features is a large niche in the eastern wall. Standing about 4.6 meters high, this vertical recess has baffled many. Was it intended for a statue serving a symbolic or ritualistic purpose, or does it hold a deeper meaning related to the pharaoh's journey in the afterlife? The construction technique of the chamber's roof, using corbelled layers of stone that create an inverted V-shape, mirrors the design seen in the king's chamber, suggesting a deliberate architectural choice to ensure stability and perhaps to bear symbolic weight. Theories about the chamber's purpose are as varied as they are fascinating. Some suggest it was used for rituals related to the pharaoh's rebirth or regeneration, with the niche possibly housing a statue or symbolic object. Others propose that its location and design might reflect ancient Egyptian cosmological beliefs or serve a more mundane purpose, like distributing the pyramid's weight or housing a statue of the deceased in a Sir Dab-like arrangement. Recent technological advances have opened new doors in understanding the Queen's Chamber. Non-invasive techniques like infrared thermography and muon radiography have been employed to peek behind the chamber's walls searching for unknown cavities or clues to its construction and purpose. Within the Great Pyramids lays another mystery. Its air shafts and the subterranean chamber features as fascinating as they are puzzling. The air shafts, narrow corridors carved into the stone, stretch from the king's and queen's chambers to the pyramid's exterior. These aren't your average architectural elements. Their design, discovery and speculated purposes are a treasure trove of intrigue and speculation. First off, these air shafts are tiny, just about 20 by 20 centimeters, too narrow for any human to pass through. They zigzag with precision towards the heavens, pointing to specific regions in the sky that held great significance in ancient Egyptian cosmology. Discovered in 1872 by the engineer Wayman Dixon, the shafts from the Queen's Chamber were a late find in the pyramid's history, adding layers to the mystery surrounding this ancient wonder. Originally thought to ventilate the chambers, this idea doesn't hold up for the Queen's chamber shafts, which don't quite reach the exterior. Instead, the prevailing theories are far more mystical. Some believe these shafts were aligned with stars or constellations like Orion and Sirius, linking the Pharaoh with the gods of the afterlife. The intrigue doesn't end there. With modern tech, robotic cameras probe these shafts, uncovering doors and chambers within, deepening the mystery. What were these ancient engineers up to? The plot thickens with the subterranean chamber, a rough-hewn space carved into the bedrock. Unlike the finished elegance of the pyramid's upper chambers, this one's all raw edges and mystery, suggesting it was abandoned mid-construction. Was it intended as Khufu's original tomb, a symbolic underworld, or something more practical like a flood defense? Theories abound, but no one's quite cracked the code. This chamber's unfinished nature has led to all sorts of speculation about its purpose and why it was left incomplete. Imagine stumbling upon a hidden chamber within one of the world's oldest and most mysterious monuments. That's exactly what happened when scientists discovered the Big Void, a revelation that's as thrilling as it is mystifying. The key to uncovering the Big Void was muon radiography, a fancy term for a technique that uses naturally occurring particles called muons which rain down from the Earth's atmosphere. These particles have the unique ability to penetrate solid stone, providing a way to peek inside the pyramid without drilling or causing damage. By detecting variations in muon density, scientists can identify empty spaces like our newly found void. This discovery was the result of international teamwork, part of the Scan Pyramids project, which brought together experts from around the globe to explore the pyramid's innermost secrets. So, what do we know about the Big Void? Well, it's situated above the Grand Gallery, a known cavity within the pyramid, and stretches for at least 30 meters, roughly the length of the gallery below. Its size suggests it was a significant part of the pyramid's design, but its purpose remains a tantalizing mystery. Was it intended to relieve weight from the Grand Gallery below, a hidden chamber for ceremonies, or perhaps just an architectural quirk? The truth is, we're not quite sure yet. 
The discovery of the Big Void opens up new avenues for exploration and research. Scientists are now considering more advanced methods to study the void in detail, like drilling small holes to insert cameras, all without harming the pyramid's structure. This void could provide invaluable insights into how the ancient Egyptians built such monumental structures and why they included such spaces within the pyramid's design. Each new discovery within the Great Pyramid is a piece of the puzzle in understanding one of humanity's most remarkable achievements. The Big Void isn't just an empty space, it's a reminder of the mysteries still waiting to be solved and the stories of the past yet to be told.